It's me, Perry Crystals here, back with a brand new plugin tutorial or showcase here today, or review, of course. Um, today is Playtime GUI, and it is by Krua, and um, this is the easiest and most simplistic plugin you'll probably ever see. Um, this does this this adds a really cool feature to your server without you having to do a single thing and there's no perms and there's only one command and I personally really like this plugin and it's just extremely useful and you can literally use this for any server so again this is a very simple and probably gonna be a very short tutorial alright so the only command in this game or the only command inside of this will be um, slash playtime. So free plugin on Spigot, but basically what this plugin does is it brings up a GUI and tells a player's time, playtime on the server, and it keeps track by using a logging system inside configurations files, which I will show you in a bit. The only thing you need to know in game is slash playtime. You Doing, by doing that command, you enter, and this is what shows up. So you see the title, this is all customizable, which is really nice in case you want to change anything with the theme of your server. So all of this is customizable, the backdrop item, and we'll go to the compass. So here you have the title of the header, and here you can see you have your username, which is a placeholder, and then you have your place time. And as you can see, I've been playing for nine minutes, about, um, since the server last pinged, because this is a private server, and there's also description. And all this is customizable, you can change all the messages and all of the colors and everything if you don't really like it too much. But, again, it's just a really simple and easy plugin. And the time, the time's changing. Like, you can see that it actually works. It's basically, it for in-game. Let's head it. Um, let's head into the configuration, and let's just see what's in there. All right, guys, we are in the configuration of the plugin, and there's only one file actually, which is kind of convenient. Um, so the first thing you notice, of course, the credits. But here you can actually change the GUI. So if we were to make it into, for example, our lobby server, um, I might want to change it to our color scheme, which is purple. Um, this is using all the default Minecraft color codes, which you can find in the spigot. We got that. Um, you can change the size of the menu, which is really cool. Of course, you have to do boxes, so that this is not number of rows, but this is actually the number of boxes. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Um, you have play item, which is basically the item that actually tells the time. Um, you can, of course, change the slot. In this case, 13 will be fine. You can change this, so what if you um, watch is fine. We can change the title or the name of the plugin. Two placeholders, the player placeholder basically tell, tells you or gives you the player's name back to you. And the playtime gives you the player's playtime, of course. Just an example here. And of course here is a filler item. So you can actually change the what you want the item to be filled up as. So change the name of the, of the thing, so filler. Of course, we'll use a color code right there. Um, lore, you can set the lore, custom lore, and then, of course, the slot list. And down here, actually, is a data. So this is actually my UUID right here, and this is my playtime. And it actually logs it right in there perfectly for you. So, of course, the more players, the more lines it's going to regenerate. But... That's basically it. It's a really easy and simple to use plugin. There really isn't much. Uh, there isn't any errors or any plugins that are incompatible with this, except for other playtime plugins that might have the same command, but that's about it.